my suspicions. I'm definitely a music kid. I always have been, being a musician, and it's my career now. Uh, and I feel like it's always influenced my style of dress from, you know, mid-teenage years when I wore nothing but shirts with band names on them. It's definitely taken time for me to come into, you know, wearing, like, transitioning over from women's clothes to predominantly men's clothes. And it's, you know, one of the best things I've ever done. I feel much more comfortable. Well, Dapper was a a word that my dad used to use. He went out and played his gigs, he would look real handsome and dapper. And there are pictures of him, you know, real nice suit, everything's looking really crisp and sharp. Women today can still take that, that old, old time dapper, you know, ideal and bring it into what they're doing, what they're wearing. We've, like everyone here, kind of <laughs> brought it already to some extent. type of woman that I would want to speak to would, you know, definitely turn their head at someone like me, you know, someone who kind of makes you, you know, look twice, double take kind of thing. Um, you know, I think people really respect um, women who who have the courage to gender bend and do things like dress in a certain way that isn't, you know, conforming to the female, you know, box by any means. Um, I find it attractive in women when they do that, um, and I would hope that, you know, whether it's a femme, lesbian, or, you know, anyone, would just appreciate the fact that, like, I feel more comfortable dressing the way that I do, and that is masculine, and appreciate it for how it looks and what it means to me. I should be on Dapper Queen. Suspicious. Suspicious.